I'm Jack, I'm junior designer at Made Fort. I've been here for a year and a half now. So yeah, mostly assist the design directors and starting to get more responsibility. So my first internship with Spin, I um, it was through the degree show actually. So they actually approached me, which was didn't have to do yeah any apply much. So that was good. So that sort of got the ball running because I would, I think otherwise I'd have probably spent ages doing my portfolio and thinking I wasn't ready. So that sort of got me confident in, in myself. And then from that, uh, came to Made Fort, and then after a month, yeah, they hired me on. So. <laughs> I managed to get Ben's email somehow, so a um, <laughs> bit of a crafty way in, but yeah, so I emailed him and then within about half an hour he rang me and I was like, who's that? Oh, that was Ben. <laughs> I wasn't expected it and yeah, he's like, oh, coming after Christmas and it was just at the time of the, the GF Smith identity launch, so yeah, it was manic time in the studio and I was sort of working directly with Ben and he was giving me lots of little projects to try and prove myself with and as I proved myself with, I don't know, say typesetting something or they'd get more more complex and he trusted me more creatively yeah, so. I think Ben was sort of impressed by so I didn't actually do straight up graphics, I did like installations and uh, yeah, quite a variety of different work so he was more interested in the way way of thinking and that was what yeah got him interested so I think it, passion yeah uh, dedication yeah. Um, being motivated I think um, yeah always being sort of I guess up for any challenge and have it mm. have that sort of hunger for it that thirst for it yeah. um, I think is important uh, yeah I think just because it, it was a baptism of fire sort of just had to be there, to be available, and I think made for a quite good at giving. So a lot of the people that work here have actually started as interns, or and so they put a lot of trust in younger designers, and by giving them a chance, to sort of yeah, you can see what it can do rather than just giving them kind of shitty little jobs, like making tea and stuff. They they test you out. So. <laughs> Usually, sort of balance my time. I usually have say a project that, that's mine but I also have to balance balance it with smaller jobs like art working or uh, just little bits here and there so I'm usually jumping around doing quite a few different projects with different clients during the day but most recently I've been working a lot with Tom Dixon um, got more trust from the directors and Ben uh, says so there's a new range that's just come out and it had, had a lot of involvement with that, so yeah, it's good to have that yeah, freedom and chance to play. Those sort of projects are, there's so many little bits, and we, it was uh, the brick icon, this has got a new uh, scent range that's come out with the London brick, and uh, we took this brick icon and applied it across lots of different ephemera, and yeah, sometimes you're the ones done the design and you're, you do the artwork as well, but quite often it's something else someone someone's done, and you um you take over and you just got yeah have a keen eye for detail and yeah look up spare mistakes and <laughs> but it also builds your understanding of how the print process works if it's it's for print um, and through that you can understand what's possible different techniques and yeah so that's recently <laughs> been working on a. Chinese restaurant and some menus for that and there's lots of different techniques it's quite a high-end restaurant so they can afford some nice menus and uh, so there's like embossing uh, gold foiling uh, different spot colors and yeah so and there's overprinting as well so it's quite a complex print job and yeah so but between myself and Brad he's sort of I learned from him and yeah yeah, I think as well as sort of um, an element of kind of studio etiquette as well, sort of how you integrate yourself into the studio. Um, I think it's about making people aware that you're keen and driven. Um, 
and actually want to be part of the team. Yeah. Because that makes such a big difference to someone that sits on their machine and just kind of goes, no, um, yeah. it's just me and Mac. Exactly. That's not the best way to yeah. show people what you're about, I think. And absorb and listen and um, learn and, um, you know, accept other people's opinions, you know. It's all, it will all strengthen you eventually as a, as a, as a designer. Yeah, it's just sort of like little things. Uh, when Jeff Smith Identity was being launched, said they needed little things like, I don't know, business cards or uh, all the forms they use in house. And uh, I think it was Ben's way of sort of seeing if I had an eye for detail, and, and from that, get more creative products. So. Uh, I think mostly in the last year and a half of it's more my decision making that's improved and um, knowing that something's going to be right instead of trying you know, thousands of different options out and then running past someone and just you sort of build up an eye for you and a feeling for what's right. And so I think more throughout the last year that's honing that skill and the gut instinct of yeah, you obviously get quicker with using software and stuff as you use it more. Um, more in maybe knowing what to spend your time on and what not to, and then not like going straight in on details. And if it's, say, you're coming up with ideas or something, you don't get bogged down, just, yeah. I think it's more just being more sketchy, and that's, that's helped me, yeah, develop. If there is one, but maybe I don't know. Always that idea is the king, really. And if you, if you're doing something without conviction or an idea behind it, then then it's just stylistic, and it's, yeah, there's no reason for it. So always having a reason for doing something.